Turtle power. Is there anyone on the face of the earth who doesn't immediately think of a clan rally when they hear those words? I don't think so. And you gotta know everyone who worked for Konami in the late 80s got a solid gold fiddle when they retired because they are the fucking devil. Yes. Oh, switch out. And you can see by the damage here that I did not use safe states to cheat, okay? Picking up right where we left off after my legitimate victory over Rockstar. So here we go. We're climbing the dam to save New York. Uh, yummy. Oh, man. So many friggin' memories brought back by this. I mean, for those of you who don't know, Deus Ex Machina is a literary device where... At the climax of a story, the protagonists and heroes and all of them are basically in a situation where, have, where they are completely screwed, and uh, some bullshit comes out of the blue to completely save their asses at the last second. And the reason I bring that up is because, fucker, Ninja Turtles has, without a doubt, the most bullshit example of Deus Ex Machina I've ever seen. I'm going to tell you story. Oh, that was stupid. Oh well. So basically, uh, this takes place in an episode called Michelangelo's Birthday. And those of you who are old enough to have seen it, know where I'm going with this. Basically, uh, at the start of the episode, uh, there's a little chemical accident down at the Earth's core with the Technodrome. And, uh, Krang happens upon a new chemical, which he think will turn the turtles back into their old, original, tiny reptilian selves. And, uh, he sends Shredder up to the surface to go try it out. Well, about, uh, 20, 25 minutes of bullshit later, uh, he's fighting the turtles in, an ab of all things, in an abandoned warehouse. And he hits uh, three of them with this chemical goop that Krang has made. And uh, instead of reverting them back into ordinary turtles, it... Um, well, let me put it this way. Have you ever played uh, Super Mario World? Sure you have. You know what happens when Mario grabs the pea balloon? Yeah, that's pretty much what happened to the turtles. They all inflate into giant balloons with dead, expressionless looks on their faces. And, uh, you know, Shredder's like, okay, uh, didn't exactly do what I wanted, but you know what, fuck it, they're completely harmless there, so I can just leave them, and, uh, we're cool. So he buggers off, and, uh, which is the stupidest fucking thing I've ever seen. I mean, talk about plot armor in the form of villain ignorance. I <laughs> mean, shit. I mean, if, if that were me, I would get up there and I would fucking slit their throats or pop them or something. Uh, here's a nice bullshit jump, and... Yay, I gotta do it again! <laughs> oh, God. So, anyway, uh, three of the four Ninja Turtles are floating on the ceiling. They're balloons now. And Michelangelo and Splinter are, uh, you know, looking up at them, thinking, okay, what are we gonna do here? And, of course, Mike's all bummed out, because, you know pretty lousy uh, thing to happen on your birthday. But anyway, Splinter gets this big smile on his face, and he's like, no, dude, chill, I got this. And he pulls out this little box with... Oh, you bastard. He pulls out this little box with these uh, little white balls in them. And, uh, you fuck. <laughs> he pulls out this little box, and, uh, he, like, uh, raises his face up to the ceiling, and these little balls in the box start glowing. And they flutter up to the turtles, and they start floating around, and then, magically, all the turtles get deflated and turn back to normal, and they're like, Oh my god! That's amazing, Splinter. Uh, you did it! You saved us! What are those things? And, uh, okay, this is the part where you really need to brace yourself for the bullshit that I'm about to fucking unload on you. Because it is 21 years and 7 brain surgeries later, and the fucking tumor in my head will not go away! So! Oh, 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 Raph gets those. Yay. So, 
Uh, everyone's asking, you know, how'd you, Splinter, how'd you do it? What are those things? And, uh, gets another big smile on his face, and he says, <sighs> Mothballs. Bleh? What? Yeah, Mothballs. That's what he fucking says. And, oh, you little bastard. And everyone's standing there like, what the fuck? How can mothballs do that? And Splinter just fucking smiles and says, oh, finally I made it. He smiles and says, if you believe in something strongly enough, it just might happen. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Fucking mothballs. Fucking mothballs. Are you full of shit. Okay, now for the underwater segment. Now, pushing the jump button makes you swim up. Pushing the attack button makes you swim down. Yes. But fucking mothballs. Never in my life, of all the shows and shit that I have seen... That's instant kill seaweed, don't touch it. Oh wait, I should go for that one first. It's easier that way. Never in my life have I seen such a bullshit example of deus ex machina. Ever. Ever. Nothing compares to fucking mothballs. Ugh. Just shows you what kind of top-notch fucking writing the show had. And no wonder I didn't get a fucking C+, anything higher than a C+, until a fucking 7th grade, because I was being dumbed down by bullshit like this. Yes, this is the easier way. Holy shit. This is such the easier way. Except for that one hit. Oh, 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 oh. There, there, there. I can get it. Watch out for that electric seaweed! I used to go the other way for this, but that's actually much, much easier. Aw, oh, you bastard. Uh, your turn. You already have damage. See, you can't get out of there without taking damage. This is fucking impossible! Fuck me. One time, one time, I almost made it through there without taking any damage. I don't know what kind of fucking hitbox programming they have for this shit, but it is fucking impossible. You show me a fucking video of someone getting through that chunk, just the electric seaweed without taking damage. Show me. God. Turtles. I think I can count on one fucking hand the number of time I've ever seen these guys in the water swimming. Okay. 44 seconds and there's only one bomb left. We're good. We're golden. We're gonna need some fucking pizza come the next level, but... Oh god, this part. Jesus. This... No! Oh! Don't you fucking dare! Yes. You see this. Yes, we're all getting an ass-kicking here. God. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just end this shit. <laughs> there we win. <laughs> oh, God. Longest cutscene coming up here. God damn. Uh, such top notch writing this fucking show had. But yeah, this level was like a fucking brick wall for me for so many fucking months. I mean, that jump. You saw me fuck up that jump three or four fucking times there. Just getting past that was a fucking challenge. And then I had to go through the freaking water level, finding the bombs, and then, oh, that fucking electric seaweed hallway. That took for fucking ever. By the time I got there, I was on my last legs. And that shit always finished me off. God. And then I finally get to sit through this long fucking cutscene, and then I go to level three, and it's the longest fucking level in the game. Eh. Well, I don't know if it's the longest. Level 4 definitely has more to it. Look at that fucking map! Oh my god! <laughs> but yes, that was level 2. And my story of the most bullshit deus ex machina you will ever see in your life. I've watched Cool World, and even that fucking ending doesn't top what the fucking turtles did to my brain. Ugh. So... Yes, this was part two, and now I gotta go 
poured some fucking pizza for an hour to get my health back up. Yay. So I'll see you all later. Bye.